Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to sharpen an image in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you two ways to sharpen an image in Final Cut by blur effect and by motion. So let's get it all. Let's start with the first method. Go to your effects browser and then go to blur and then go to sharpen and drag it to your clip. Okay, as you can see, our image is a little bit sharper. Can you see the difference? Let me zoom it for you. 300. Look at the eyelashes their eyelashes and their eyebrows oh it's a little bit sharper as for the sharpening only add a little bit a little bit don't go overboard or it will look awful let me show you look at that that looks awful do you see the halo let's adjust it until there's no halo perfect so the safe amount around two to eight but it depends on your clip okay just don't go overboard okay look at that it's a little bit sharper now. Easy, right? If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second method, you have to purchase Apple Motion to do this. Okay? It costs something, but you know, it's a very, very useful software. Now let's go to Apple Motion, select Final Cut Effect, and then click Open. Then go to Filters, go to Sharpen, click on Sharp Mask. Then go to Inspector, hover your mouse next to the keyframe button of Radius, select and publish go to amount select and publish threshold and publish you don't have to do it to horizontal vertical 360 hour and mix you don't really need those for sharpening then hit command s then let's change our template name to unsharp mask to make it organized add a new category make it blur create then publish now, when you go over to Final Cut Pro, the unsharp mask effect will be there. Huh? Nice, huh? We're now back to Final Cut Pro. Let's go to Effects Browser. Go to Blur. And then, you now have your unsharp mask. Nice, right? Now, let's drag it to our clip. Oh, yeah. Look at those eyebrows. Nice. Very sharp eyebrows. Can you see the difference? I'm gonna zoom it in so you can see the difference. Unsharp. Sharp. Huh? Huh? Nice, huh? It's so easy, right? So, the radius, this is the halo. Look at the halo. Let me zoom in so you can see. The radius, this is the halo, okay? Then, the amount, this is the amount of sharpening inside the halo. Oh, oh, okay? So, the threshold, this is like the opacity but in reverse. So, the higher number, the less effect you get. It. So, if it's zero, it's full blast effect of the sharpening if understood okay let's reset the default settings are good to go but you just need to tweak a little bit so our radius make it a little bit smaller put a little bit amount 1.5 now let's see the before and after this is the before after the difference is very subtle in sharpening subtlety is key don't go overboard or your footage or your image will look awful there you have it a sharpened image thank you for watching i hope you learned something today Hey, I have a gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours, free. Click below for your gift.